So what did you miss at Jubilee today? Well, gosh, you missed a lot of things. You missed the dedication of the organ. Finally, the names of all of those who made such a magnificent instrument possible are inscribed on the console itself. Stops are identified in memory of a variety of people. And, um, and so we took that moment to dedicate the organ, but also to the gift of music and the way that it is shared. We ask that it bring us closer together into communion with each other, with those outside our walls, and also with God. We recognize the power of music to move us in, in ways that we cannot always understand, ways that sneak up on us. And we gave thanks for that and ask that those ways always be spirit-filled. So we dedicated the organ this morning. And we, we recognize Father's Day. We try to honor our fathers, our relationships with fathers and sons and daughters. Also, the relationships that are difficult, the struggles that fathers have or those of us have with fathers. And we recognize that it's not always easy but we recognize God's love revealed in guidance and patience. Example in coaching and cheerleading and supporting. We recognize the fathers who fit traditional roles and those who break traditional roles. And we thank God for all of them. And we pray for healing and wholeness for us all in our relationships. And it seemed a fitting Sunday. It was also Trinity Sunday, and so we, we talked a bit about the Trinity and how God is known in, in relationship. God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. How we come to discover God in community and can only really speak of God in community. And we heard the story of creation from the beginning of Genesis and recognized that creation is, is community. All of these Disparate parts together creating one magical, wonderful, glorious, awesome whole that we call creation. The light and the dark, the, the fish and the fowl, the creaturely and the human. Remarkable bit of poetry, a remarkable achievement that we are one in and as creation. But then just because I'm difficult, I also threw in next week's reading from Genesis, the sacrifice of Isaac. Abraham, the father of the faith, is told by God to take his son to the top of a mountain and to sacrifice him, to give his only son to God in blood sacrifice. And we read that story, sometimes called a text of terror. We recognize that Abraham was tested, but we also began to wonder if Abraham actually passed the test. I suggested that he did not. That in fact, even though Abraham, even though Isaac was ultimately replaced by a goat from the thicket, Abraham and Isaac's relationship is forever changed, and I would suggest damaged beyond repair. That Abraham's relationship to Sarah is also damaged probably beyond repair, that Abraham has lost his own trinity. Those three relationships that, that were co-defining and interdefining, they're gone. That perhaps what Abraham was meant to do was to stand up to God and say, are you kidding me? Life is precious. You have given me this child, and as a father, I will protect him and nurture him and love him. I will not sacrifice him. Perhaps he was meant to stand up to God and struggle with God, wrestle with God. He did so for Sodom and Gomorrah. Why must we destroy these places? And God bargained. And yet, in this instance, Abraham is obedient. But perhaps true faith, what God really asks of us, is that we, that we struggle that we engage with God, and in that, discover the way we must live. 
They called the place God will provide. Maybe we're expected to provide a little ourselves, not sit back and wait for God to provide the compassion, the miracle, the sense, but we're meant to be sensible, to be compassionate, and to provide alternatives to the sacrifice of children, the destruction of relationships. We know God in relationship. Well, then surely God expects us to honor our relationships as well. So we honored the Trinity today. We honored Father's Day as we questioned God, or better yet, engaged with God the way a child does with a father. Engaged and in an engagement creates a real, meaningful relationship. So that's what happened at Jubilee today, and I'm sorry you missed it. I hope that we don't miss you next week. Thanks be to God.